Okay, I have a piece of field gear here for you. This is a piece of cold weather gear. What I have is cap, cold weather, insulated, helmet liner, or as we referred to it, the pile cap. This was our primary means for a head covering in the middle of winter before they issued the black Bakalava or the black ski mask, which has since been replaced with all the newer stuff when it came out with ACUs. You can get these in OD green and also woodland. It's a lot easier to get a hold of the woodland pattern than the OD green ones. Now I'm going to show you how to put this in your helmet, and I'm also going to show you how to roll this so that you can use it as a hat during winter time. Now this is pretty straightforward for a hood. That's where your face goes. Velcro down here to close it across your neck. Your chin would be up here usually. Your ears are covered. The back of your neck's covered. There is a little bit of elastic on the back here, a little bit of stretch, not much. Now to put this in your helmet, you got to open it up and you got a little hole or slit here on both sides. This is for your chin strap. So we got our Kevlar here. First thing you will do, if you got any type of padding on the inside, remove it from over your suspension system. Then remove your sweatband. I'm going to leave it in here for uh, this one because this is just a demonstration. Then take your helmet liner, put it in there like you would be wearing it. Take your chin strap here, you unbutton it, and then feed it in through the hole on the side. So it's in like that. See so your chin strap is on the inside. Go around to the other side. Do the same thing. Pull it through. When you would wear it, put it on. Button your chin strap. Then you would close that. It kept you pretty warm. Once you got down to close to zero, that's when you would want to wrap a scarf around the front or use the uh, brown gator neck or neck gator underneath this. Uh, if it got really below zero, it wasn't that uncommon for someone to wear their black wool watch cap, their PT cap, underneath here inside the helmet liner also to give you a little bit extra insulation. But usually this was good enough because your helmet helped block in a lot of the heat inside here, kept it from escaping from the top of your head. I used this for a very long time before we finally were issued the black bakalavas. So now we'll take this out. If you have upgraded a Kevlar helmet with the uh, newer pads inside them like I did to my Kevlar, which I showed in the video on the Kevlar helmet. Just go through and experiment, figure out if you need to remove one or two of the pads in order for this to fit better. I would think that the newer style suspension system should still work with getting fed through these slits. I don't know, I never tried it. All right, let's move this out of the way. Right 
Now, I'm gonna show you how to take this and convert it over to a hat. During the winter time when we were back in garrison, well, you didn't want to wear your patrol cap, your soft cap at that time because you're going to get cold. So we used to wear these, but we didn't wear them as a hood like this. How we would do that, open it up, set your leg on something, put that over your knee. Roll over, roll over one more time, take this, flip it over on this side, flip it over on this side so that your Velcros will still line up, tuck in the very ends here, going across, roll it, tuck in the end over here. And that's generally how it looked. We used to put our rank pins right here. So that way we still met military regulations showing our ranks on our caps. This is what we would wear in formations when we went down to the motor pool. We'd unroll this, put it on as a face mask when we left the motor pool, went back up to the company areas or anywhere on post. We had to go through and re-roll these back into a cap. Very versatile and very cheap. It does work and it works really good. They were an issue item for a very, very long time for a reason. So there you go. The uh, pile cap, official name, as it says on the label in here. Cap cold weather, insulated, helmet liner. And these are sized the same as your patrol cap. There is also inside these instructions for how to clean and dry them. It's a pretty straightforward piece of military equipment. Very useful. It may not be what the seals use, but guess what? It'll help cut down on the chance of getting frostbite on your ears and on your uh, cheeks during winter when the wind's blowing. Now for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember SAONs.